I don't even think I have to sum it up, but we all know Ezra Miller recently has been fired, or at least uh, what is being told to us from Deadline is that David Zaslav is going to fire Ezra Miller from future DCEU projects, and I don't even need to sum up the entire situation. A lot of you guys already know. I'll just kind of quickly sum it down. There's grooming allegations by two by two different groups. Uh, there was the Hawaii incidents where one of them led to assault. There's issues of uh, Ezra potentially, uh, you know, got it, like there, there's just too much right now. And I've been very vocal about the Ezra stuff. And I know recently I've stopped like the last couple of months. I haven't really made an Ezra video besides things that involve the Flash movie. I think I'm going to change it up because I do think these issues are important. But I still want to wait till the court date comes out. However, I'm going to talk today about Grant Gustin potentially being the Flash because you know, it's just this big thing. Everyone's just talking about this Flash movie. It's trending on Twitter. We're wondering what's going to happen with the movie in and of itself. But there's the question. There's a question we need to ask ourselves, and is could Grant Gustin potentially replace him? Now, I'm going to tell you two things before we go into the rest of the video. Number one, no reliable source is reporting on this. There's no Hollywood Reporter. There's no Deadline. There's no no one. Uh, even small sources, like for example, Sill Geekosity, they haven't said anything about. This this the only thing they've said is that it's not going to be grant gustin uh, but because it is being trending on twitter i'm going to talk about it and give you guys my thoughts the number two thing is uh i i don't want grant gustin i don't even if to let's say right now warner bros comes out and says hey grant gustin's our new dceu flash so welcome grant gustin i'd actually be very disappointed i'd actually be really really disappointed i think it was a better option than ezra but i'd be disappointed and i'm even going to say this Ezra Miller's Flash to me and Zack Snyder's Justice League specifically to me is a better Flash than seven seasons of Grant Gustin's Flash series, the CW series. I personally think that, but I still like Grant Gustin's Flash. I love the, the first three seasons of The Flash, or at least the first two seasons specifically, are some of the best comic book television I've ever seen. I don't think it's as good as like a Daredevil or a Peacemaker, but I definitely think it's their top five. It's a top tier comic book series, at least the first two seasons. The other seasons were horrible. But we are going to talk about this. So on Twitter, it is trending right now. Uh, you can even see here. Oh, crap. It's not even loading. But <laughs> Grant Gustin, <laughs> there, there are people already talking about Grant Gustin. It's trending today specifically. Um, and there's a specific tweet from Mercury. Uh, and by the way, I'll say this right now. I have no respect for Mercury and Gerald of the Snipers. They're two of the worst people in the fan. I would say they are the t two worst uh, Mercury in the past has even made 9-11 jokes not too long ago, so I'd have no respect for Mercury, but uh, because his tweet has kind of gained a little bit of momentum, uh, he says, by the way, these are anonymous accounts. Typically, anonymous accounts are some of the worst people on YouTube. Typically, anonymous accounts, they'll realize they have so much power because no one knows what they look like or even know their names that they'll just harass people because they realize, you know, they realize they have this much power. And most of them are children, so I don't really care. But anyways, uh, he says, Grant Gustin stands using this opportunity to push their delusional DCU flash agenda again. I take Ezra with their extensive criminal record over a TV actor any day, I fear. So first, let, let me talk about this first sentence right here. Um, I don't think specifically it's Grant. I don't think it's Grant Gustin fans. Look, as a fan, you're going to want your character to show up more in movies like me. I'm a Tobey Maguire uh, Spider-Man fan. I would love to see Tobey Maguire come back. As that, just just me being a fan, and Mercury is a Snyderverse fan, so of course you would want the Snyderverse restored. But I do disagree with him on this part. I don't think it's just Grant Gustin fans are just trying to push an agenda or anything. I just think it's most people look something. Um, most cultures or on the internet, at least in fandom. What we tend to forget is that actors are replaceable. We tend to forget that. And we always think that there needs to be a logical solution to why an actor gets recasted, like, movie sense. Because a lot of people are using Grant Gustin because Grant Gustin, let's not deny it, has more of a popular record as The Flash and Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller has that, well, t I mean, I guess you could say two cuts of, a, of the same movie. I mean, they're the same movie, just different story, different ways of the movie being told. But still, it's considered as one movie. While flat Ezra, I mean, while Grant has seven seasons, and regardless, I still think Ezra Miller is a better is a better Flash 
than Grant Gustin. I won't deny it. I, I still prefer, but I don't think this is specifically just made because, hey, look, everyone, Grant Gustin's this great Flash. I don't think that's the purpose of why this tweet, uh, why Grant Gustin fans are doing this. I just think, you know, they're in love with this character, and so they're just going to go praise this character. Everyone does that. Mercury, you do that too with the Snyderverse stuff. So I don't think it's a Grant Gustin thing. However, uh, I'll say this straight up. I, I can't blame people. I can't blame people because Grant Gustin has so much, so much I, I, they have a much better track record, not only as the Flash, but as an actor outside. Because Grant Gustin, uh, think about one controversy that Grant Gustin has done. None. You can't, I mean, maybe they, he did something. I don't know. But the fact that it's not engraved in my mind shows that Grant Gustin hasn't had any issues however i still don't want him to be flash and i'm going to go into that a little more but i want to respond to this mercury tweet because everyone kept sending it to me then let's talk about this second this part is controversial and i'm actually going to have an unpopular opinion on this part but and again i i do not respect mercury at all mercury to me seems to be a moron they seem to be a loser i don't think he's ever touched grass so i just have to say that but uh, they said i take ezra with their extensive criminal record over tv actor any day I fear I disagree with this part um because it, I as the David Zaslav definitively does need to fire Ezra because in a PR sense what is Ezra doing for you realistically to because look people don't want to hear this but it's show biz not show friends when you're in business you're there to make money when you go to your nine to five job what are you there for? You're not there for your coworkers. You're not there to party. You're not there to do anything. You're there for the money. Even if it's a job you love, even if it's a job you love and you think it's the greatest job ever, you're getting paid well, everything, your number one priority is what? That paycheck. Because you got to pay your bills. Same thing with Warner Bros. You got to make money. And realistically, even if Ezra's innocent, and I, I, I'm sorry to say this. I'm sorry to say this. I, if Even if Ezra's innocent, there's just so much bad PR. There's so much bad PR, even if Ezra comes out to be innocent. And I would disagree with this, too. I think everyone should disagree. I think this is objectively something everyone needs to disagree with. That have you would I would rather. And I mean, I don't think Ezra should I mean, not Ezra. I don't think Grant should be Flash or at least in the DCEU, not because they're a TV actor, but because to me, it's just stupid. Why would you just all of a sudden bring in this TV? Because here's what's going to happen. You're basically telling people, hey, we're going to bring in this actor, meaning you have to watch all the other seasons of Flash. And no one's going to want to do that. If you tell the average audience, oh, hey, if you want to watch this movie, that means you have to go watch eight seasons of The Flash. At least with Daredevil, with Charlie Cox, at least you could just say three seasons and then people wouldn't be as confused. But however, I don't think I mean, I understand why people want Grant Gustin, but. At the end of the day, the only reason why people are saying Grant Gustin is because they have a better track record. Why people love Grant Gustin and people believe. I mean, even when the Flash movie was being created back in 20 or at least when it was announced back in 2014. Guess who people wanted to be the Flash? Grant Gustin. So this has been happening for almost a decade at this point. However, I still stand with the belief that, hey, if you're going like the only way I would accept a Grant Gustin is if all of a sudden the DC was like, hey, you know what? We want to have this TV character now be like have that tv series now be a movie however let's not deny it, the last few seasons of the flash are horrible and i still would not want that and i mean if, if you go on all youtube or any social media the number one thing you often hear is the flash has not been very good in a couple of years like it's, it's, it's that's something that most people have been saying and i don't think warner bros wants that track record um, but i'll say this right now this is where my unpopular opinion comes from this i don't think mercury was doing this with bad intention i think it was genuinely just an edgy joke i because sometimes when you try to express yourself you often make such a big expression that it comes off bad like you you're trying to express like i'm sorry if i'm miswording or, or miscalculating what i'm trying to say but the reality is i think mercury was just making an edgy joke or trying to be edgy while also trying to to full on express what he's feeling like i genuinely don't think he actually believes ezra with their extensive criminal record should be should stay uh i think it's just more he's just ed he's edgy it's clear mercury's edgy i mean i still think he's a loser who probably lives in his mom's basement or something like that. it's like he's a cave dweller he's a cave dweller 
but I, but I don't think he was genuinely saying this with malicious intent. Like I'll say this right now. One thing I hate about social media culture is that we're so quick to try to end someone's career or something like that that we often don't stop to think about it. And I've been I've I've had that issue myself. And look, I don't think Mercury should have a platform. If Mercury was to get banned off of social media tomorrow, I'd be happy with them. However, there. However, I think this was an edgy joke. This was just more, and even the 9-11 stuff, I think those were just more edgy jokes. And I still think that he should be called out for it. However, I don't think this was done with malicious intent. I don't think he was necessarily trying to be evil with this intention. However, there he's an extremist Snyder fan, and I do need to call him out because as a Snyder fan myself, and as someone whose channel grew from the Snyder momentum, I do think this guy is a moron. I, I think the thing is, sometimes when you're doing social media, you forget re real life. You forget, you know, life. Like, for example, I talk about geeks and gamers. I talk about these other YouTubers sometimes. And, you know, I recently have been more aggressive. I've been very aggressive with these content creators that I sometimes forget they're humans. And so and what I'm trying to do now is I'm, I want to stop myself from even using the word racism because I noticed that that word means so little now that nobody actually takes you serious when you call someone a racist. Kind of like how nowadays, if you call somebody a woke SJW, that means nothing because it's been so overused. So I don't think Mercury was actually trying to say this with malicious intent. However, it did come out as very stupid. I, I think what he was trying to say from this comment, at least looking at it, is they don't want Grant Gustin because they're a TV actor. And I can understand why, because look, I, in in a dream world, like if in, if somebody was to tell me how I would put the story, I would have wished that Ezra didn't do any of this bad stuff that's at least being said right now. And I would keep Ezra Miller and have him or have them for future Flash movies, future Justice League movies, have, have them in whatever. That's the goal. That, that would be my, that would be the dream reality because I love Ezra Miller's Flash. However, we don't live in that reality. And the reality is you do need Ezra Miller fired. That's a smart thing. Even if they come out to be innocent, it's still show business, not show friends. And I'm sorry. I do apologize for Ezra Miller. But hey, if I'm Warner Bros., I do the same thing. I mean, I, I would I would do my own research. But even then, research means nothing when you have bad press like this. And I think most people running a company would agree. I know most of us don't agree, don't see that perspective because we are not in actual jobs. We're not CEOs. We're not managers. But the smart thing to do, obviously, is always... Hey, if an actor is doing something stupid like this outside, then you got to get them out. It's it's show business, not show friends. If something's going to prevent you from making more money, then it's not smart. But however, my full on take is I I don't want Grant Gustin, not because they are a TV actor, uh, but because I, I just don't see why you can get any any other. There are hundreds upon hundreds of great actors in Hollywood that I honestly I think it's silly just to think that only one person can do it. Um, and I've also heard people say, oh, Grant Gustin won't accept this because because it's his good friend Ezra Miller. I mean, look, if you're a TV actor, remember, most actors, their goal is to star in a movie. Why would you just throw away that 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 opportunity for somebody, for an actor who clearly didn't care enough to keep that role? Clearly, I mean, I, I honestly think that the tragic thing is, I honestly believe the the main reason why this is going on, if every if the allegations are true, I honestly think that this is a product of Hollywood culture. I think there's so much bad happening in Hollywood. That I mean, so many bad actors that do bad things that when you're in this position of power, you you have this sense of doing whatever you want. And I think you even see that on YouTube. Like Andy Signor, you'll see that Andy Signor has done bad things on youtube because they now have that position of power and i think that's something that we also need to discuss that i do believe that again if if ezra did everything they did i honestly think it's a product of hollywood culture they're seeing the people around them doing bad things i mean how many actors do you see have done many bad things especially during their careers and again it's a product of hollywood i i honestly stand by that position i stand by that by that thought uh however Warner Bros. David Zaslav inherited an issue that he did not create this issue. David Zaslav has nothing to do with this. The only thing David Zaslav has to do with this situation is the fact that he is now the one in charge. And he didn't choose he didn't even choose the Flash movie to get filmed. He didn't choose anything about the Flash movie. But now he has to make that choice. This is kind of like let's say two of your friends are fighting 
They're fighting because one owes the other one $2,000, two grand. And now they all of a sudden they look at you and they say, what is your choice? That's kind of because you didn't create that choice. You didn't, you didn't create these issues. You just inherited those issues because somebody else put you in that position. And that's kind of what David Zaslav, I mean, David Zaslav did put himself just because of the job he's in. However, the situation itself wasn't created by him. It was created by Ezra. It was created by the people involved. This is a situation that David Zaslav didn't choose to be in. And as it, and now that you have this choice, everyone, the pressure's on David's. I mean, the pressure is always going to be on Ezra because this is stuff affecting Ezra. But I think as Warner Bros., the smartest thing they can do is straight up fire Ezra. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, the, the answer to the Flash movie is not I don't know. There are many options. Some options I would consider is, hey, just release it in theaters. Maybe no trailer. I mean, kind of do what Morbius did where there were very few commercials. There wasn't merchandise. There wasn't this. There wasn't that. Or you could just try doing it. Try doing it in a way. I mean, you're obviously not going to have press conferences, even if Ezra is in jail or anything like that or confirmed to not be the Flash. Still, you're not going to do those press conferences because even like Sasha Kaye, Michael Keane, the only question that's going to be asked is what happened with Ezra? Did you see any of these signs while filming? We're not going to see any of that. The main... I mean, we're going to see that only in the press conferences. And I think the, I, I don't know. I, the answer is we don't know. I mean, maybe just put it straight into HBO Max. The, you, there are things you can't do. One thing you can't do is not release this movie because there's too much money invested in this. And it would, the stupidest thing possible it would be not to release it. The only way I would say that you can even consider never releasing and shelving it is if, if the grooming allegations do come out to be true. Like, there's evidence, there's everything fact, and the court it's themselves say, hey, these allegations are in fact true. These allegations are true. That's when Warner Bros. does need to question, like, oh, crap. Like, we're going to promote this family-friendly movie with the, this, the main lead pop being somebody who groomed children. That's that's honestly a question we do need to ask ourselves. And I know I'm sorry if I'm asking. I know the video is supposed to be titled "Should Should Grant Gustin Be the Flash," but there are more questions to this. There are. It's just the Flash movie is honestly the most difficult position any person in Hollywood can go with. And honestly, there is no simple solution. I don't think there's an easy solution. Uh, and I do feel bad for because this is a very this isn't a black and white issue. There's gray in the middle because. On one hand, yes, Ezra did all, a lot of this bad stuff, and Ezra did not just bad stuff, but very serious, serious stuff. Like this isn't this is beyond this is beyond anything we imagined. I don't think anyone thought this could happen. But not putting this movie out is also disrespecting to the hundred because I'm I'm honestly gonna say this right now. Actors are not the hardest workers on set. I, I honestly think they're not. They are a tr contributing factor. You guys know I appreciate actors. Um, but to me, the director, Andy Muschietti, worked far harder than this. Um, and the cinematographers, everyone, the VFX team, I think they all worked incredibly way too hard only to have some moron do stupid things offset. And it's why I, I, it's why I don't have a simple answer. I don't have a simple answer to this. I can't tell you what I genuinely want. I, I can't write the playbook. And I think David Zaslav is in the same position. I think everyone's in the same position. We do not know what's the simple answer. Um, I know some people are saying, oh, just cut out Ezra Miller scenes and make this a keen Batman film. That also would be confusing. I mean, I, I don't know. It's the thing that I don't know what the answer is. I definitely don't think Grant Gustin should just come in. I mean, I think what could possibly happen is at the end of the movie just say something with the speed force happened and now Ezra looks different although you don't really need to do that you all you just simply need just do a war machine where they just recasted him in the next movie that's, I honestly think that's something that should happen it's, it's just so tough and um Brad Clark um one of my good friends who supports the channel um, he has said many times that he believes that morally Warner Brothers should just shelve this movie that honestly, I think I would only do that if everything does come out to be true and not. Oh, actually, let me let me rephrase that. I think if the grooming allegations come out to be true, that is where you do have to shelve this movie or do something that doesn't involve Ezra. Like, I, I don't see. I don't know. I don't know. Because 
is the situation just keeps getting worse and worse every day. Like I remember when this last grooming allegation came out, all I thought was, God damn, what I didn't even read it. I didn't even care. I was like, I don't know what you do in this situation. But anyways, you guys let me know in the comments. Do you think Grant Gustin should replace Ezra or not? I don't know. I honestly think if you are going to replace him, just replace him with another actor. Because honestly, I don't see why bringing Grant. However, I'll say this right now. It is a far better option than just keeping Ezra. But I've, I'll, I'll stand by this right now. I'm, I'm going to make one final statement. I said this in my video from 11 months ago or a year. I don't know how long ago. I made a video saying why I'm still mad at Ezra Miller because of that choke slam incident. I said this right now. If you allow Ezra to do this, because by not putting out anything publicly, you are telling people that you're just going to let Ezra get away with this. By not saying anything, I honestly think led up to this. I mean, although the grooming stuff happened way before, clearly. But I said this at the time. Warner Bros., had the chance to do something at that moment now this isn't david's i'm not saying the current warner bros regime i'm saying the previous one they had the chance to do something about it and they didn't they didn't and i said this would come back to bite them in the ass and clearly it looks like it is because i honestly think that at the time because remember that happened before they even started a day in pre and production honestly i think at that time if you had replaced ezra none of this would have happened because if these allegations came out now because remember when these these allegations are coming out now what's the first thing people are going to ask or what's the first thing you see people asking why hasn't warner bros said anything warner bros how could you keep ezra that's the first question we're seeing that's the number one question it's just straight toward uh warner brothers excuse me we're not seeing, I mean, yeah, we're seeing people holding Ezra accountable, but I feel like I'm seeing more Warner Bros. being held accountable. And guess what? That's Warner Bros. own issue. Not David Zaslav's issue. Please hear me out when I say that. This is not a David Zaslav creation. This was a old Warner Bros. regime issue. And again, I think that video aged very well. I remember I had a lot of people saying that I'm just overreacting, that I'm treating, I'm treating it way too serious. Where are those people now? I got a lot of crap when I dare talk about the Hawaii incident. I don't know how you justify any of this. I don't. Um, I don't know how you go after people who dare criticize Ezra now. I don't. Because at the end of the day, this is Ezra's creation. And I'm hoping Ezra stays innocent. Or I, I hope Ezra is innocent. And again, it is true. Innocent until proven guilty. But there's way too many allegations. There's way too many. It's just too much assault i mean more than one assault at least that from what we know um and i know and i'm gonna bring up the chair incident honestly these hawaii incidents mean nothing to me now compared to the grooming allegations realistically because they mean almost nothing now but i remember when, when the chair incident happened i made a video and i had people saying you're overreacting you're overreacting but i'm but i said from the start this seems like it's a pattern if it's a one-time situation, I wouldn't care. I'm going to bring up James Gunn. James Gunn back in 2012, somewhere around there, made a lot of edgy jokes. He made a lot of edgy jokes on Twitter. And if you want to go search them up, I've searched them up. I'm not even going to say what they are. But if you Google James Gunn's old tweets, uh, they're very poor taste jokes. But like I've said from the start, those were in the past and it wasn't a pattern if he had made that joke back in 2015 2016 and then forward and forward and forward then i would say there's a pattern there but i like i've said those were old edgy jokes and he learned from the past and i've had similar situations i used to make a lot of edgy jokes until i then changed my mindset then i learned uh, i educated myself on the jokes i was making i made a horrible joke i would say i even made worse jokes than james gunn i would say to that extent and even mercury um I would say I even made I made far worse jokes than Mercury. I'll say that. Although this doesn't sound like a joke, I just think it's their edginess is coming out. Like, clearly you can tell Mercury's pretty young, or either they just have really edgy humor. A really edgy way of looking at things, but it is what it is. I don't know. But it's just such a complicated situation that I don't think it's an easy black and white situation. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think about the Flash situation. Um, do you think they should just wing it, allow Ezra? to continue 
or do you think Grant Gustin should come in? Or do you think another actor? Personally, I'm in the mindset that I think it should be any other actor. Even if you are replaced, even if you want to, like, let's say you want to replace this current movie, which is going to cost a lot of money, whether it's CGI, whether it's reshoots, it's going to cost a lot of money. Even then, I, I still don't think it should be Grant. I think it should just be a new actor, especially if you're not going to go with that CW flash. Because, again, CW hasn't been good in a while. And not only that, but there, there's no purpose to it. There's no purpose. But anyways, you guys let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.